Hello everyone, my name is Dan Motherspa, proud principal at Indercom High School. Go Tigers growl. Uh, so thank you for expressing a little bit of interest about us. Um, as you may know, we're, we're a pretty big comprehensive high school and we've got a lot of academic options for our kids as well as um, options, extracurricular options and activities for our students. We've got award-winning athletics, drama, music, arts, CTE, and student activity programs that really keep our kids engaged. Um, and we're, what we're really about is preparing our kids for college and career. We're also about hip, helping our kids stay engaged in their community. So service learning and a senior project is, is part of what we do here at Intercom High School. Um, so if you want your kid to be a well-rounded global citizen, this is the right high school for you. We're all about helping our kids be college and career ready and by, by teaching them how to growl, how to have grit, responsibility, optimism, worldliness, and how to show the IB learner profile. So let's get into um, some of the academic programs. You'll hear more about these in detail uh, coming up right after, after me here. We are an IB World School. We have the IB Middle Years program, which all of our ninth and 10th graders are in. There's no application for that. It gives our kids, it helps to give our kids a global perspective. It's inquiry based. There's a personal project at the, at the 10th grade year. And it's really focused around developing our kids around the, the learner profile. We have two CTE pathways, our broadcast media pathway and public safety pathway, which are amazing. And we also have a bike tech class to help give, give kids some real world skills for um, some jobs in the future. SICA or our early college academy is aimed to serve students in the academic middle and so priority for students in that program or we're looking for kids who are first generation college graduates, historically underserved or maybe economically disadvantaged. It's all centered around our AVID program. Then we've got our IB diploma program, which is for our 11th and 12th graders that allow kids to earn an IB diploma or individual certificates. And so to help prepare students for the rigors of that in 11th and 12th grade, we have something called the Scholars Program for 9th and 10th graders. That's a program for students who are interested in getting an IB diploma and working on that their junior and senior years. And we have lots of advanced placement classes uh, where kids can earn college units by passing AP exams while they're here in high school. We have 13 AP courses to choose from. Uh, a lot of our students take those AP exams um, and about a quarter of them at some point in high school passed one of those AP exams and were able to earn some college credit. So you'll be hearing more about these uh, some of these programs coming up from my colleagues. Go Tigers, growl! My name is Teresa Quinby and I'm the MYP coordinator for Intercom High School. We're proud to be an IB World School for the Middle Years program. All of our ninth and 10th graders are part of the MYP. So regardless of special program, all of our students in ninth and 10th grade are IB students. So as an IB World School, we aim to develop the IB Learner Profile, which are 10 traits to help our students be well-rounded and internationally minded. So this includes their thinking abilities, such as being a communicator or an inquirer, but also the development of their characters so that they're balanced, open-minded, and principled. So in the MYP, we see that the IB Learner Profile is at the center of all that we do. Our students learn through inquiry, so they explore big ideas or concepts, they make connections to the real world, and they learn important skills needed to be college and career ready. They commit to meaningful action, so that includes serving their community and completing a personal project, and they take a variety of courses, and in 9th and 10th grade that includes taking a world language course. So the MYP really serves as a strong foundation for all of our students to be prepared not only for the 11th and 12th grade, but to be college and career ready global citizens when they graduate. So if you have any questions about the Middle Years program, feel free to contact me at any time. Our pathway here at Intercom is the Broadcast and Media Arts Pathway. Within the whole Broadcast and Media Arts Pathway, I think essential skills in this career force are how to communicate and collaborate and work on projects under a deadline. Time management is a huge career skill that we hear all employers across sectors want students to know. They'll also learn media technology, which is required now in pretty much every career field. And they'll be ready when they graduate here from the High School Broadcast and Media Arts Pathway program to start working immediately after high school graduation in some local broadcast media production houses. Our pathway here at Intercom High School is called Public Safety. Within that pathway, we focus on law enforcement as well as fire technology. Students in the public safety program under the law enforcement section learn how to investigate crimes, uh, conduct interviews. There's a certain amount of leadership that is taught to the students in order to bring out their skills to be able to work with each other to 
uh, solve crimes. And that gets re-emphasized through Criminal Justice Academy competitions within the Sacramento with other Sacramento Police Department academies. Hello, my name is Jackie Freitas, and I am the SICA coordinator for Intercom High School. SICA is short for California Early College Academy, and it is a program that provides an opportunity for students to take classes at American River College during high school, earning credits simultaneously for high school and college. The program is based on a strong partnership with American River College and Natomas Unified School District with a focus on AVID strategies and the AVID student profile. Because the program focuses on a rigorous curriculum, an AVID class is embedded into each student's schedule. The AVID class provides support and encouragement to not only succeed in their high school classes, but also in their college experience. All upper level classes at ARC are CSU and UC transferable. Students who, are students who are focused and determined can earn up to an entire year of transferable college credits. Our motto is our students are not just college ready, they are college proven. Hi, I'm Jessica Danning. I'm the coordinator for the Scholars and IB Diploma Program. The IB Diploma Program was developed with the intention of holding students around the world to the same high standards. As with the MYP, we just strive to develop well-rounded students and they will complete courses in six areas of study along with the core requirements of the theory of knowledge, the extended essay, and the creativity, activity, and service experience. Students completing the IB Diploma Program are extraordinarily well prepared for college and our alumni keep coming back and telling us that. Colleges recognize the expectations of the diploma program and consider that when they see these courses listed on students' transcripts during the application process. A student who does well enough in the IB diploma program can earn most of the year's credit at a UC and comparable universities. Because diploma classes are especially challenging, we encourage students to start in the Scholars program. As with all other 9th and 10th grade students, they are part of the IB MYP, but Scholars classes are accelerated and more in depth to prepare them for the rigors of diploma program classes. Students who feel like they need some extra challenges coming out of middle school are encouraged to apply. Applications are open from mid-November through the end of January, and they're available on our website. These students are dedicated to pushing themselves further than the average student. They're truly motivated to learn, but one common concern we hear is that they won't have time to participate in other activities. I want to assure you that our students consistently show us that with good time management, it's possible to continue with their sports, band, and clubs. Thank you all so much for checking us out tonight. If you have any further questions, please go to our website where you'll find some Q a Q&A form that you can submit questions as well as a bunch of other helpful information. And as always, go Tigers, growl!